with their new release of Dragon Ball Super Movie Superhero, I got to get my thoughts on this. So the first thing I want to say is that by no means is this better than the Broly movie. With that being said, I did like a few things that happened in this movie. One of the things I did like was that it's kind of a love letter to the Piccolo and Gohan fans. I really liked the way that they put, put Piccolo and Gohan in the forefront of this movie. And, you know, main characters like Vegeta and Goku kind of took a backseat. I really like that. I know the 3D animation has been getting mixed reviews on it. But honestly, I kind of did like the 3D animation in this movie. I especially like some of the camera movements and the camera angles that they had in uh, this movie. Like, you know, cuts and all the zooms, zoom ins and stuff like that. Just, you know, the different angles and camera moves on this were actually pretty good. I did like them. I actually enjoyed the new villains. You know, the new uh, Android villains um, that are like, you know, pretty much saying they're superheroes. Honestly, I did like them in the movie. They had great, uh, great characterizations. And on, honestly, too, whenever they were firing some of the characters and they had like the comic, bu comic book bubbles and action bubbles, whatever of the words, that was actually kind of funny. But this movie was definitely pretty funny. I gotta say, a lot of comedy in this movie. A lot of more, a lot more comedy than previous other movies and kind of Dragon Ball Super episodes. A lot more comedy in this one, which I actually did kind of like. All right, so I gotta talk about some of the things I didn't really like too much in this movie. So with this movie being um, pro probably approximately like an hour and a half long, an hour and thirty five minutes long, there were some parts in the movie where I felt like it might have been slightly rushed or not enough build up for it and one of the things that i think didn't have enough build up was the new forms that they got for like piccolo and gohan now don't get me wrong i do like when characters get new forms but in this movie it just felt like there was no build up to it it just was like almost instantaneous i mean i like piccolo's new form it was pretty cool in the way he was able to unlock that new form uh, made sense for me but the way with gohan uh gohan's new form it just felt so instantaneous and it felt like there was no build up to it and honestly, it just didn't feel like high enough stakes, especially when we got this uh, surprise villain in the end. Didn't feel, feel like high enough stakes, and especially with the uh, getting a new form instantaneously. I know there's that common trope and meme that Dragon Ball Z episodes take a long time for fights and stuff like that, and new forms and all that stuff. But honestly, the reason behind that is like, you know, it has enough build up to see that new form, see that new character turn to a new form, which I kind of like the slow build up a little bit. But with this movie being so kind of short and stuff like that, the, and the build up for it, there was not really no build up for it, and it felt instantaneous, and it just didn't come across for me. But overall, the movie was all right. Uh, you know, just a couple things here and there I didn't really like too much about it. A couple things I did like about it. I want to say it's exactly one of the best Dragon Ball Dragon Ball movies, but honestly, it had a few things in there that I did like and I enjoy about it.